we have mapped the rule set to the time processing profile uh, now so i go to manage time cards i say i want to create a time card let's say for on behalf of a particular person let's say i want to fill the time for the coming week Now we had put in 30 hours and 50 hours. Let us put 30, uh, less than 30 hours for the first case, and then uh, for less than 45, greater than 45 hours for the next case. How it looks like? So suppose this 930. or let me just put. hours for now okay this template does not have hours so I'll have to put in the time only okay So my, for example, in this scenario, my total hours is coming as I'm putting in for 19 hours. Now if I try to go and submit this, See, this is what the hours entered for the period are less than the minimum limit 30 hours defined for the time card. So this is a warning. I can still go ahead and submit it because it's a warning. Had I put in an error message as a part of the seriality, it would not allow the employee to move further uh, into the transaction and submit the time card at all. Likewise, this is a calculated page. I go back and I modify this say to 6 p.m. So now, okay, nine, 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 okay.
uh, also put in time on let's say Saturday so my total has gone beyond 45 now it should trigger that particular so this is how it can be triggered now let's say I go and submit it so this is where you can have your time uh, entry rules defined you create a rule template in the system first which we will see as a separate step then you create a rule uh, in the system then you create a rule set map that rule set that you have just defined to the time processing profile and then that uh, rules get uh, affected into the system.